Yo, what's up guys? It's Salvaje. So I'm back with another Fortnite Save the World tips video. And here are some of the most important tips for Plankerton. Now, this video is helpful whether you are in Plankerton, you're about to head into Plankerton, or you're not even in Plankerton anymore. Because these tips are also going to help you out in the long term and, and are of course going to make you a better Fortnite Save the World player. With that said, let's get started with tip number one. Make sure that you guys are checking X-Ray Llamas on the daily. You should be checking your Upgrade Llamas or your Super People Llamas to see if they have a Mythic Lead Survivor. Because Mythic Lead Survivors are very important in Fortnite Save the World. And if you don't know what a Mythic Lead Survivor is, go to the description and check out my Fortnite Save the World Beginners playlist. And that video is, and there's a video in that playlist that teaches you what are Mythic Survivors all, up, Mythic Lead Survivors all about. And most importantly, you guys can also check out my uh, Survivor Squads guide for 2019 that is going to also explain to you guys every single thing about Survivor Squads in Fortnite Save the World in about 7 minutes or so, which is actually a good thing because a lot of the Survivor Squads guides out there are like 15 plus minutes. And very, very confusing also, that's why I actually made my own Survivor Squads guide. So yeah, make sure that you guys are checking X-Ray Llamas for Mythic Lead Survivor or a specific Mythic Hero that you might want. In my opinion, the three base game mythic heroes are actually really really good uh, the reason why I say three base game is because there's a fourth mythic hero from the base game face scout Jess she's not really too good unless of course you plan on farming or being very mobile okay so tip number two make sure that you guys are focusing on getting those training manuals okay training manuals are really important how do you go about getting those training manuals well make sure that you guys are opening up event llamas but most importantly, make sure that you guys go to the transform, the transform feature, click on permanent keys, and then click on survivor transform, and then get your green schematics, right? Never really dismantle your green schematics, your green heroes, your green defenders, right? You want to get your green schematics, and you want to transform them into blue survivors, and then you want to dismantle those blue survivors to get training manuals. Now, this is something that you absolutely must do. Because if you don't do this, trust me, you're desperately going to need training manuals in the future, alright? Even as an end game player myself, you know, back in the day when I was a max power level, I would sometimes struggle when it comes down to, when it came down to having training manuals. The next tip that I have for you guys, know how to operate survivor squads. I already said it at the beginning of the video, but survivor squads is really, really important. If you don't know how to maximize survivor squads, if you're not matching personalities, if you don't know what a leader match is, if you don't know any of that stuff, what are you doing? Your power level isn't going to be that high, and honestly, you're not really going to be that powerful in the world of Save the World and missions and all that. So you need to know how to operate survivor squads. And again, if you want to know survivor squads, check out my 2019 survivor squads guide in the description below. Next tip know how to build around your objective. For the most part, walls are always going to be doing the job, but if you place walls, remember to place a staircase in front of that wall so that smashers don't charge up your walls. Also keep in mind that smashers are always going to charge walls no matter what, whether it's a really small wall or a full size wall, they're going to charge the wall. So avoid placing walls on pyramid builds for example. Next tip that I have for you guys, don't trust anyone when it comes down to guarding the objective. This one mostly comes down to Plankerton, but no offense, there's a lot of stupid people in Plankerton. Alright, they're getting their quest items, they're not paying attention to the objective, sometimes they go AFK. Alright, make sure that you guys are guarding the objective if the objective needs to be guarded or if the objective is about to get attacked, like in a repair the shelter mission for example. Next tip, let's talk about the event item shop. The weekly items are going to be in the game for a week. The event items are going to be in the game for an entire season. So if you see something that you like on the weekly item section, then make sure that you get that item first before getting an event item. Why is that? Well, that's right, because the event items are going to be in the shop for like three months, you know, throughout the entire season again. And the weekly items are only going to be in the shop for a week, man. So if you miss out, on a weekly item then that means yeah you are probably not going to be able to get it ever again <coughs> jesus christ i apologize for coughing but i've been making videos all day and my voice is basically dying 
But there's no stopping around here. All right? There's no stopping around here because it's all about teaching players. All right? How to maximize or save the world experience. So I can't stop. Anyways, uh, ladies and gents, uh, that's pretty much it. Right? Those are the most important tips that you guys absolutely want to know when it comes down to Plankerton. I will get into more intermediate tips, of course, when we get to Canny Valley. So be on the lookout for that. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to check out the Beginner's Guide playlist if you're a beginner. And feel free to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you're missing out. Big time. Peace out and see you all in the next one.